of Sacagawea was the Shoshone Indian woman who acted as an interpreter and guide to Lewis and Clark as they explored the western United States. What you didn't know is that my fifth grade teacher, Miss Katie Cooper, is a tour guide just like her. I know what you're thinking. What? She is a tour guide as a teacher? She must be the luckiest fifth grader in the whole world. Well, the truth is, I, Savannah Bruce, do have a tour guide as a teacher, and so do you. Today, I'm going to tell you how my teacher, Miss Katie Cooper, is very similar to Sacagawea. Like Sacagawea, all good teachers guide their students as they navigate their way through their education. They guide us through good and bad situations and teach us along the way. Miss Cooper guides us when we are stuck on homework or when we don't know how to get something we need. Just like Sacagawea. Sacagawea led Lewis, Clark, and the men of the Core Discovery through good and bad. She helped them when they were sick or needed food. She taught them how to use plants from the land and how to trade with the other Indian tribes. When disaster struck and their boat overturned, it was Sacagawea who stayed calm and saved all the important things from the boat. If something goes wrong in our classroom, it is Miss Cooper who must stay calm and be prepared for anything. Sacagawea and the Corps of Discovery followed President Thomas Jefferson's orders to find the most direct water route across the West as much as possible. However, they ran into some obstacles and ended up having to cross some narrow and dangerous mountain paths to get to the Pacific Ocean. Although Ms. Cooper doesn't have strict orders from the President of the United States, she does have a class curriculum that acts as her guidebook to keep her students from veering off track. When Ms. Cooper first started her journey as a teacher, she felt excited and scared. I'm sure Sacagawea felt the same way when she began her expedition, especially since she had her infant son, Pompey, strapped to her back on a board. Having a baby is not the only difference between Sacagawea and Miss Katie Cooper. There's the obvious. Sacagawea is Indian. Miss Cooper is Caucasian. Sacagawea is a deceased historical figure. Miss Cooper is alive. And there is the not so obvious. Sacagawea had never traveled before, but Miss Cooper loves to travel and often makes family trips to Florida. Despite these differences, Sacagawea and my fifth grade teacher are two people I look up to. Thank you, Miss Cooper, for truly making fifth grade the trip of a lifetime.